Hello, and welcome to a Photonic Cleaning Technologies step-by-step -step guide. Today we will be cleaning this pair of binoculars and the scope of a hunting rifle. For demonstration purposes, we are going to remove the lens of the scope. However, it can be cleaned while mounted on the rifle. For the scope lens, we have a one and a quarter inch diameter O-ring and the binoculars we will use a one and an eighth inch diameter. This is to prevent the cleaning product from getting into the mounting bracket of the optics. Keep in mind not all optics are the same size, so be sure to measure yours before selecting an O-ring. The first step will be to coat the O-ring. Apply a light layer and allow about a minute for drying. This will be used as a seal to block the polymer from getting into the mounting bracket. Once dry, place the O-rings, polymer side down, onto the lens. With a 30 milliliter vial and pipette, apply the polymer to the center of the optic and work your way out. The pipette will help control the amount of polymer applied and help prevent spillover. Then with the 15 milliliter vial and brush, we are going to make sure we have an even coat. What we are doing here is just pulling at the surface of the polymer such that the brush never touches the lens. Once coated, we are going to allow the polymer about 5 minutes to start drying before applying our removal technique. For this particular cleaning, we recommend our mesh strips. Using the 15ml vial and brush, we want to re-wet the surface of the polymer near the o-ring. Take the mesh strip and bend it into roughly a 90 degree angle. Then place it on top of the spot you just re-wet and apply more polymer over the top of the strip. This will embed the mesh strip into the polymer without it touching the lens. Once in place, it is time to allow the polymer to fully dry. Dry times can vary due to factors such as temperature, humidity, airflow, and the thickness of the coat of polymer. Because these lenses are recessed inside their mounting brackets and we are using an o-ring, we recommend at least 45 minutes. This process can be expedited using a fan to increase the airflow across the surface. Once the polymer is dried, it is ready to be removed. Simply grasp the mesh strip and peel the polymer off the lens surface. If you notice the mesh starting to pull out of the polymer, it requires a bit more time to dry. Now, one of the benefits of this cleaning method is that you can leave the polymer on for an extended period of time. This is useful for storage and for keeping dust from getting on the lenses. Then, when you need the binoculars or scope, just remove the polymer and they are ready for use and freshly cleaned. Another benefit of this cleaning method is that no particulates can reach the surface of the lens once the polymer is in place. This allows you to clean sections such as the threads on the inside without getting anything on the lens itself. Thank you for watching. For more information, check out photoniccleaning.com or click the link in the description below. Watch some of our other videos and quick help guides here on YouTube and subscribe to our channel for when new videos on our product come out.